morning. Today is the day we say goodbye to Cocoon and we head over to our next resort, Hideaway. So this is not a green screen behind us. That is the actual ocean. We have a breeze going. Alec is, Alec is sick, guys. He uh, has had a rough 24 hours. We don't know if it's food poisoning or just being vegan. Didn't even open his eyes at that joke, meaning he is really sick. Look at this water. That water is also sick. It is so sick. We're going out to our seaplane, as you can see right up there. Um, and we'll be taking a 40 minute seaplane back to the main airport and then taking a little regional jet to the next island. Everything here is spread out. There's about 1,200 islands, 250 of which are inhabited. So lots, lots, lots to do today. Let's jump on that seaplane and fly. Babe, are you so lucky you get to sit with me? So lucky. <laughs> it literally doesn't even fit on one seat. I look huge. I look you're like too, Buddy. You're too big I look for this like Buddy the Elf right now. <sighs> buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Ow, he tested negative. We got our COVID test. So every island you go to, you take a COVID test. So he doesn't have COVID. Food poisoning, you think? Yeah, that's what I got. Food poisoning. Hmm. What plant do you think gave it to you? He said because uh, I was dehydrated. Ah. So much fruit. Dehydration and too much fruit. We're gonna let Al chill now. Oh, that smell of is not. You and I are just gonna cuddle this whole flight. It's literally like 95 degrees in here, 100% humidity. Babe's sweating. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Guys, first flight done. Al, I really thought you were gonna puke at one point. I thought Morgan might kill somebody and since I was the closest person to her, I was worried for my life there. I'm kidding. Ooh. After the hottest flight I've ever been on, we landed, had no AC. I've been doing some complaining, but uh, was that not hot? Yeah, I complain a lot. <laughs> But we've definitely landed. Some place that looks like it's off of a a movie. We look like we're in the middle of a Colombian like drug drug lords private airplane airport. So uh, we're now here. I don't know what island this is. It's Panama Adu. Panama Adu. Ha Panama Adu. That's it. Um, but we're now taking a boat, 20 minute boat. So this place could very well be the most amazing resort because I found the harder resorts are to get to, the better they are. So I'm really excited for this one. Straight from the plane to the boat. This is honestly like the most different trip I've ever done in my life. Yeah, you were so angry about an hour ago. I wasn't angry. It's just someone just smelled like poo. <laughs> oh, tell you what, we have earned ourselves a nice lunch. Look at this water though. Are you kidding me? Wow. It's like Whoa, we can just put a resort right here if we wanted it's to. Like this is nice. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever even seen a beach that nice. This isn't even the resort. This is the airport. Here we go. Oh, nice, mate. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is nice. This is beautiful. I could sleep on here tonight and just be happy. All right, well, you know, just, they don't have to wear them. Why? Because we're freaking white people can't sweat. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I can't sweat, okay? Crikey, this is the life, though. This is paradise. Honestly, this is absolute paradise right here with a beat. Al, how you doing? Oh, this is a vibe. Al just says this is a vibe. Al doesn't lie. When it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Hello. Welcome to the jungle. All right. Here on our buggy, going to see the rooms for the first time. Al once again got his own room tell you what there's some major perks into being really good at photography and being low maintenance and being australian 
and being an all-around good guy. If you're all of those things, you're gonna get your own room. You're gonna get to come on a trip to the Maldives with the rest of the world's in lockdown. Sorry at this time if you guys can't travel, but we spent 10 months away, so I don't feel that bad that we're now here doing this. I'm just excited. So, that being said, oh, there goes our bags. Bye bags, hope you find your dad. Which is me, I'll see you guys later. Um, yeah, so really excited because we have a beach villa and then we have an over the water villa. So we're trying to decide. Coming up on the first villa here, it's gonna be the beach villa. As of right now, they have Morgan and I in this room. We've heard from good, a, good, a good source that these are the way to go. So let's go take a look at it. First thing that strikes you, a beautiful entrance. Is that a chicken? Did my, did my breakfast just run across? Hey. I'm kidding, Al. I just said it because you're behind me. Look at this, though. This is gorgeous. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, it smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, my God. Look at your pool area. That pool area is sweet. Oh, oh absolutely gorgeous look at oh, this this is so cool wow this is outdoors we are now outside again guys we came inside to then come outside outdoor shower or well that's a toilet that's good having the toilet outside just lets it air out more I love it. Wow. wow, that is our own personal pool. We'll check that out here in a second. Babe, they got Pringles. We had these on the flight, these, these exact ones. So it's good to know that. Oh, look at this. Hey, Harry Bell? They know exactly the way to Morgan's heart. Let's see the mini bar. Let's go. Oh, Let's wow. go. They even got the favorite chocolate. They got the, they look, oh, wow, they got lint and, how do you say it? Say it? Tor, tuber, tober. Tober. That's it. I was saying troubadour last time. <laughs> All right, we're going to go out here and check out the pool. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look how beautiful, this, this whole area. Wow. I can already see an amazing Instagram photo happening here from, with Morgan. Right there. Right there. Babe, have you decided yet? We got our own little swing over here, our own private. So the beach is just right out there. We'll go there in a second. Babe, our favorite chocolate is already in the fridge. The Pringles and Harry Bows. What's that favorite chocolate? Uh, Troubadour. Oh, Troubadour. Troubadour, Swiss. <laughs> what? What? Look at that. Let's go. That is almost to scale. Let's open that up right now. <laughs> Come look. And then they have a rose for you. Oh my God. Look at that. That is so sweet. That is funny as. And then look at your rose for more. Oh, and I got macaroons. Get a bit. Get up at me right now. Room A. We'll call it the beach villa. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. We have our his and her bikes. We're now going to go check out the water villa. The water bundle. Water suites looking pretty special as well. Oh, 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 buddy. Welcome to Hideaway. Uh, look what you got, Al. You, you got a Canon camera on here. <laughs> that is a vibe. Wow. All right, Al. We will definitely be switching you halfway through. I can tell you that much right now. Look at this. Wow. I could what? poo looking at the water. <laughs> Shower with that? Oh, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Which one would you guys rather have? Would you rather have the beach villa with your own walkway up to it, a lot of privacy surrounded by mango trees, your own personal private beach, or would you rather be sleeping on the water 
with your own personal little pool with this amazing, amazing bungalow that walks right down into the water in these perfect, perfect Maldive conditions. It has been decided, Morgan decided to, drum roll please, stay in the water suite. So I'm not really surprised, even though we were told by a legit source, and the beach suite honestly is equally impressive. I just think between the fact that you can't stay on the water as often as you can stay on the beach is why we're going with this. Is that, does that concur? Yeah. All right, jumping down on the bikes. We bike everywhere here. We're gonna be meeting Alec and we're gonna be doing some sweet snorkeling because the snorkeling looked insane. We're all wearing these pink shirts. We got one for Al for his birthday so we can all match. Now we gotta grab our snorkel gear and head out to the reef. How excited are you right now? Matching. I know, we're gonna give Al the shirt too so hmm. we can all match for his birthday. I was going to be turning 20, 25 on the 15th. in the pool. I didn't show you more of it because I was busy eating it and kind of being on vacation I forget to do a lot of filming. Afterwards we just kind of hung out and then the weather turned not super nasty but a little bit nasty which means it's now perfect to do some work which is exactly what this little one's doing. She's still hanging out in bed. Um, I am just about to take my watermelon culture pump and go to the gym and train a little chest. So yesterday was back day, back and biceps. Ugh. Today is gonna be a little chesticles and abs. Probably throw in a little bit of triceps in there as well. The gym here is really cool. We'll go show you that right now. All right, rode the bike here. I'm here in the gym now. Pretty amazing. Has basically everything that you can need. It doesn't just have a barbell with weights. Everything's a Smith machine. It does have dumbbells though. So today I'm on the Swole program, and I'm pretty excited because we got our Summer Sizzle Challenge going on right now. So Fitness Culture, the app, we have the Summer Sizzle program going on. It's an eight-week challenge. Um, you guys can enter it. You can follow the Sizzle program that we have, which is designed to get you guys lean, or you can pick from any of our programs. So I'm following the Swole program still. We have, we have Power, Athlete, Functional. You can follow any one of those. You get access to the new Fitness Culture app. So. The new fitness culture app, it's redone, it's nice, it's clean, it's concise, everything is explained to you. You get mobility, you get your nutrition, you get your access to the Facebook group, the coaching, everything you guys need to succeed and get right for the summer. Get right, that's what we're trying to do right now. So today, it's a chest and tricep day. Yesterday was back and biceps. Again, I'm following the Swole program. Some of the programs, the functional workouts, we have everything, we have more of like, we have programs that are really a lot more functionality based, so plyometrics and things like that. I, I switch off. When I'm looking to get, you know, my, my staple program I would say is the Swole program and that's more of the traditional bodybuilding one. Um, we also have sprints today. So we're gonna be doing bench press um, right now. So I'll be doing my weights right now. Uh, chest day starting off with bench press, working up to 327 for reps. Uh, superset with banded pull parts. We got dumbbell bench press neutral grip. We only go up to 50 in here, so that might be a little bit difficult. Uh, machine decline. Um, we got some rolling tricep extension. So basically we're gonna get a great chest and tricep pump before we go out and do 110 yard sprints. Might be in the rain right now, but that's okay. It's always kind of fun. So 
I'm gonna be knocking out my uh, my chest workout right now. Let's go, let's go Titty City, let's go. All right, got, got pretty much as close as we can. Everything's in kgs here. And we've almost taken all of the weights. Oh, we got 11 reps here. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit lighter because it's not good Swift machine weight, but we're gonna try to get 11 here. It'll be plenty heavy. going to enjoy a little R&R. &R. Take the boat out, hopefully it's smooth sailing, out to the beautiful blue waters of the Maldives to see Morgan's favorite animal in its natural habitat. And I'm talking about the dolphin. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. We were just told that the, the fun seating, the good seating is on top here, so. I'm going to slip off my shoes and we're going to the top. Oh, let's go. Look at this. Bon voyage. I've had such a hectic, hectic day. <laughs> I say hectic, like we really had like this hard day. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. That's all I can say. I'm going to relax and recover on top of this boat here. We're going to see some dolphins. The dolphins were great, weren't they? They were so, so beautiful. I feel like we were really lucky to see them all jump and everything. Pretty good day all around, I feel like. Had a good workout, good rainstorm. Yeah, the you storm came me. over and I definitely thought that was it for the day. Oh, you thought it was just gonna rain? Yeah. It got super humid afterwards. We're gonna include a little slideshow of some pictures at the end of this. This place, Hideaway, has just been amazing. This whole place is just like a dream. Thank you guys for watching. Click See you on the next video, y'all. Click the thumbs up for Morgan's wild behavior. Like and subscribe. Yeah.